nails, dog. I'm trying to get buff. Shaping my beard up. I'm liking the scruff. If the hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gonna see though. I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio. It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her. Another day, another dollar, another phone with another feature. I don't play goalie, but I'm my brother's keeper. Surrounded by family, I'm not with other people. They say I got my pop's demeanor and mother's features. The garden's still private as ever. The gang thriving together. Your boy's striving to be the most dominant ever. The hardest white boy since the one who rapped about vomiting sweaters and holding comments. Cause I promise you I'm honestly better than whoever came to your head right then. They ain't cut from this. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here as it'll be the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking on the New York Jets. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returned to start the game. The new rule here, in effect, fair catch will bring this out to the 25-yard line. Now a man picked up on draft night this year, DeAndre Swift. You talk about this Jets defense. They currently sit at number four in the NFL in terms of stopping the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they can get to him. Play action. Here's Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. May not be the first game you think of with the Eagles offense, but Smith had an incredible 2022. 11th in the NFL in catches, ninth in yards as the number two option in a run-heavy offense. First down there from one of the game's best young receivers. play fake here's hurts and that is incomplete now the coverage a little too good there and it's second down brandon we saw these defenders fly to the football in their win last week and nothing has changed they're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions Now a second and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. This defense for the Jets, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And the Jets pressure two matches, down he goes. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann.
And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. On the return comes Cobb, and he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and the Jets will take over. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now the second-year man back from injury. It's Brees Hall. Yeah, he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. You look at this Eagle defense. They've been pretty good against the pass. Not amazing, but good. Number 13 in the league. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. Third down and six. To throw, it's Rodgers. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. The Jets at three and two, a game over 500 here to start the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. On first and 10, it's Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down and eight. Now Rodgers. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Now Rodgers running the option right. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. On second down, a run behind. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Now it's Rodgers. And that will be in. 
incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll go for it. It's Hall going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Two seconds to go, first quarter. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it second and seven. play action with Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front. The front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletions. They're going for more. Here's Braden Mann now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. Now Cobb to return, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week, so this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get the heel up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. It's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. To throw is Rodgers. Back to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury, and the Eagles. 
Bills will take over possession here up at the 44. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got Bioski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Quentin Williams, so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Here's third and seven. Hurt sets up to throw it. They'll roll him out right. it away a directional kick going toward the sideline and they won't risk defending a return here that one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14 yard line Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah. He's got a man complete. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 51 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Rodgers going to run the option here left. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Paul on a give up the middle. And he stopped immediately there. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still ten to go on third down. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Here's third and ten. Now Rodgers. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense, because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. A 
Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3 nothing. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made here at the 36. First down now, but that clock rolling. Hurts. He'll get this out wide to Penny. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now a second and six. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw here. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 38-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 12-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half.
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw again. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on it's the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This will be a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, the combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Hall again. That one a first down pickup of eight. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Rodgers. And this is caught by Martavis Bryant. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. Hey, 
Here's Rodgers to throw. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. If there are any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing right on his own five-yard line. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Taking it about the 36. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. This Philly offense set to go. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. And he's going to have an Eagles first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. He'll drop to throw. The left side completion to Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and a yard at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and a yard. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he'll go down at the 28. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Play action. Here's Hertz. Complete. Smith has it. 
And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a tight, low-scoring affair thus far. 3-3 is our score heading into the fourth. Now a second and two. Once again, it's Swift. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Eagles on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and four. On third down, here comes Swift. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Got to kick it, right? I mean, even the short yardage, you, you boot this thing, don't you? Yeah, but I know how aggressive you are. I know what you want. You want to go for it, don't you? You're feeling it, aren't you? Yeah, but treat it like a football game, not like men. I like that. Fight the temptation. Kick the field goal. Because if you go for it and don't get it, you put a lot on your defense in a short amount of time. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. We still wait on the first touchdown of the game, but a second field goal now makes it a 6-3 score. Yeah, I know a lot of people would call this the definition of winning ugly. To me, this is gorgeous. I'm a defender, right? I love these kind of games. The tension is high. Who's going to make the play to win it? And right now, that field goal may be the advantage that they need. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now a play fake. Rodgers. It's caught by Bryant. And they'll get it up just short of the 35 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. That's thrown quickly out wide to Lazaro. First target, first catch, and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball will get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They'll give to Hall. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Rodgers. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Connor. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Back to the ground with Hall. Rushing touchdown of the year, number nine overall. And the Jets have taken a fourth quarter lead. Well, I think we both got to think, and, and the team that scores the first TD may be the one to win this football game. And here we go, our first touchdown, and it comes in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and it's a testament to both of these defenses were able to hold the line this long. But now, on the other side of the field, they've got to be thinking, if they got it done, we should be able to punch one in ourselves. Zerline good with a PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. This is first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This is Smith to the ground. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Uh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. He'll look to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Now Hurt's going to move him around. They'll look to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Jets have just about sewn up this football game. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 41 yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Yeah, another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Rodgers looking to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. I just love that we're doing about trying to finish off this game. This is not an offense that's going to go into a chip. They're going to keep exploiting weaknesses when they see it. And that's a huge pickup there with the game in the balance. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run with Hull. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. They'll come up first and ten here. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old ad? 